Hey everybody, Fifth Horseman here, doing another KSP Fundamentals, and today we are going to start a three-part series, actually going to probably be more than three parts, but um, three parts to get it working, and then everything else after that's going to be tweaks. Um, but these, uh, this, this show is specifically Rendezvous. Rendezvous and docking is probably the one of the hardest things in the game, um, really, when it comes down to it. Um, but once you get it, it's one of the, the most rewarding things in the game because you can do so much because of it. So um, the problem is, though, that there are really three aspects to it. One is the rendezvous itself, uh, and I'm going to define that as getting really close, hopefully within 2.5 kilometers so that you guys, you and your, your target get within the same physics bubble window. The second part of that is the approach, which is when you're that close, what do you do to actually get close to the, <laughs> to actually get close to the ship? Because if you don't do something, you're going to fly right by it. And then the third is, of course, docking. And we're going to cover all three of those in three separate videos. This video, I'm specifically going to get you close to the target so that you can actually move on to the next video and approach it and then finally move on to the last video and dock with it. So let's go to map mode. We've got two vessels here, and they are in possibly the worst orbit. I actually did that on purpose because I wanted to I wanted to show it show you here. What we've got here is we've got the Kerbo National Space Station orbiting at um, roughly uh, 250 meters above. Uh, I'm sorry, 250 kilometers above Kerbin. Uh, once you get over 240, you can time warp pretty fast. So that's why that's why a lot of people and myself included like to put it there. Um, you'll notice that the periapsis is just over 240. The apoapsis is a little bit higher, but uh, it's basically a circular orbit. My little ship here, the Rendezvous, um, I basically did what I did in the last video, uh, the, well, the first video of the series, which was I got him into orbit um, just kind of, you know, below 90 uh, kilometers, but uh, fairly high. He's also got a moderately circular orbit, uh, 87, actually it's very circular orbit, 87,499 by 87,896. Doesn't have to be that circular. Um, these two orbits, though, are not exactly in plane. They are one degree off, and that's going to be a problem. So that's actually the first thing you want to do uh, when you're when you're getting into orbit, uh, when you're docking this kind of way, where you're docking to an orbiting space station. You want their orbits to be coplanar. So actually, when we get here to the ascending node, and you can actually do it at the ascending node or the descending node. It doesn't really matter. All that matters is when you're at the ascending node. That means you're moving up or north. So you want to burn south a little bit. And just like when you're doing an orbit, uh, and you're trying to make your orbit perfectly circular, remember last, uh, remember during the orbiting episode, you knew that your orbit was circular when the periapsis and apoapsis started flipping around. Well, the same thing. You know that your, your orbit is going to be coplanar when, as you're dragging these things, the, the markers start flipping around. So we know that, and notice that now here it says it's going to be 0.0, .0 if we do this burn. And it's not that expensive of a burn. Um, orbital uh, tilt burns can be very expensive. Um, so you want to, ideally, you want to launch into as close to it as you can. One degree is pretty good. But, uh, but you know, if you're off by 10, 15, whatever degrees, it could be hundreds of meters per second to get that thing to work. So um, just keep that in mind. Okay, so I have fast-forwarded to this maneuver node now that I made in order to to get my thing, uh, get my orbits the same. It's a very small burn, so I don't think it's going to be that much to worry about as far as time is concerned. So you can just go right down to the time, throttle it up. You could I could have hit the, the Z key. And then once you've finished the node, make sure that you're at 0, 0.0, which is absolutely perfect. And that's how you make your orbits coplanar. The second thing you want to do is get your maneuver node that's going to get you an encounter. So let's actually bring this out here. I'm going to show you. Here's everything that you need to know about maneuvers in one very hard to hard to figure out uh, display here. These are your intersects. Um, this is where where basically these markers here are where you will be. Let me actually bring it out a little bit more. So, so we get two markers, because it always shows you two. Okay, here's where you're going to be, if you do this burn, here's where you're going to be the very first time you, you cross the, in, the Kerbo National Space Station's orbit. When you're here, the space station's going to be here, because these are both orange. Then you're going to go out a little bit farther, and then you're going to come down, you're going to be here, 
And by the time you get here, the stay station's going to be here. So obviously, this is not the right time to burn. <laughs> so what we're going to do here is we're going to drag this thing around, and we're going to see if we get a good encounter. And you'll notice we don't. Uh, why is that? Well, because we're in a really bad place. Um, we are in front of the space station. We actually want to be behind it. You want to do it at sunset uh, because, ideally, you know, like somewhere on this side, because when you burn this at sunset, that means we're going to be getting close to the station at sunrise and we'll have the entire traversal of this orbit to actually uh, match with them. Um, that's not critical if you, if you don't mind working in the dark, but I personally don't, I don't like working in the dark. So you have your maneuver node here to meet him on the, the sunrise side of your orbit. Now what you can do here is you can you could use the plus or minus keys. And what I'm doing here is I'm right-clicking the maneuver node. Uh, as you right-click the maneuver node, it switches between two modes. One is actually screwing around with the maneuver node, which we've already done to, <laughs> to get these things nice. Uh, the other is you can go plus and minus orbits, and you can also delete the maneuver node. Um, what you want to do here is... As we're going around, when we hit this maneuver node, if we do this burn, we're going to be here and here when the station is here and here, which is obviously garbage. We don't want that. So if you go, well, what happens next orbit, you can click that. And now you'll notice that if we wait in orbit, we're going to be closer, which is awesome. Well, what if we wait two orbits? Now we're too far away. Well, what's good is that? <laughs> you could actually wait more orbits until you get a really good one. But why bother doing that when you can instead right click it again and then you can drag the maneuver node around and now, now make sure when you're dragging the maneuver node around you're not accidentally selecting the normal markers or some other marker notice i'm on the normal marker here because it's highlighted under my mouse and then if i go down here then the the maneuver node becomes highlighted that's the important thing you want the maneuver node itself to be highlighted and we're just going to bring these around now you, you don't want to match the orange with the purple you want to match orange and orange and purple and purple i'm actually going to match the purples up so that we're meeting it there, we'll just meet it in the dark, and then, uh, and then we'll, we'll, you know, it's not too far from sunset or sunrise. It's probably like what, ten minutes or so, maybe twenty. Who knows? But uh, that's our burn. That's how you set up your your encounter burn in order to get the best, most efficient maneuver. Now, notice it's only 111 meters per second. The other one was like 30 some meters per second. So this is like three times that amount. It's really not much to worry about. So now all we have to do is fast forward an hour and 21 minutes, which of course at 50 times is gonna take forever. So I'll be right back. Okay, and we are coming up to our maneuver node. Notice that we're a lot closer to the space station than we were before. That's because we're slowly catching up to it in our orbit. We're gonna slow down time when we have 30 seconds or so left. Because this burn is not going to take very long at all. I'm just aiming myself over here on my maneuver node. I'm aiming it at the thing. And I'll notice also, here's another thing that you're going to need to know. This is the target indicator. It's saying that our target is a little bit above Kerbin. This is the direction we're facing. And it's above Kerbin, <laughs> if you want to look at it that way. It's saying we have a five second burn. I'm going to trust it. I'm going to use the Z key and the X key. There's the Z key. To perform the burn. And then the X key to kill the burn. Then, as you always do, we did this in the orbit, when we were achieving orbit, we're going to delete this and then make sure that we're looking good. Our inner, our separation is 8.5 kilometers, which is not bad, to be honest, but it could be better. So I'm going to burn just a little bit using the shift key. I've got one finger on the shift key and one finger on the X key. I'm going to burn up just a little bit to see what happens. See, then it went down, which is good. So we're going to burn up a little bit more. 7.1, 6.4, 6.0. I'm just going shift X. Shift X. There we go. 0.7 kilometers. <laughs> That's actually pretty awesome. And honestly, it's a little too awesome because I want to uh, <laughs> I want to show you something next episode and I'm going to use this. So I'm actually going to make our separation about two kilometers. I could make it better, but I'm not going to. <laughs> you should make it as good as you can, though. Um, the reason I'm doing this is because I want to show you the iterative process, uh, the beginner's way to get your approach working. Um, but that's it for Rendezvous. It's, it's as lot easier than it feels. Do this a couple times. Get a couple ships into orbit and rendezvous them together. Um, just follow this, this procedure. Get your orbits coplanar using the ascending node and descending node markers. Then put your maneuver node on the orbit. Bring it up so that they are, so that you can see that. And then drag it around and see if you can get an approach. If you can't, right click that maneuver node. Click the plus and minus orbit buttons to, to find a, an orbit in the future. 
that has a much closer approach and then drag that around until you get it. Then fast forward yourself to that maneuver node, do the burn, and then delete the maneuver node and tweak the burn until you can get as close as possible. And that's it. That's all Rendezvous is. Now, of course, as I said, there's also Approach and Docking, which we're going to get to in a future episode. I hope this helps. I hope you enjoyed watching it. I definitely enjoyed making it for you. I am Fifth Horseman, and I will, as always, talk at you later.